basically he just raised his hand. Yeah. Like, it was like, what's two plus two? Kanye was like, four. And they, they all of America was like, shut your stupid ass up. You don't get to talk. What's two plus two? Jay Z said, <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Welcome back to another episode of 4 Billion Years of Stupid. I am your host, Nick. With me as always, my co-host, Yellow Card Tulips. How you doing, brother? <laughs> I, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. That's that's how I'm doing. I God damn it. it. <laughs> and I hate you. What's up? Fucking restart it now. You gotta restart. We good. Are you sure? Yellow you know card. not good though? Jay-Z. Huh. Allegedly. I just, whenever I talk about famous people, I'm gonna say allegedly so we can't get sued. But um did you see him? Essentially, go Kanye at the uh, Grammys. Grammys. I, Grammys. I I don't typically click on Jay Z articles, so like I seen it, but I didn't. I don't really like know what happened. So he pretty much got like a like Dr. Dre lifetime achievement award type thing. Whatever. Gets on stage and starts selling out about how like it's not a fair system and like you know it don't make sense because like. Beyonce hasn't never won uh, album of the year type shit. And it's like, bruh, combined, your marriage has 36 fucking Grammys. I just. She got like 16 on her own, but because she's never won album of the year, it's a problem. Should we check up on Jay? Should we check up on Ho? He he sounded kind of battered. I mean, you got battered in that elevator by Solange. <laughs> Out of my she she put the mittens on that boy. That <laughs> she put the mittens on that nigga, bro. Like, I mean, it's a it's a double edged sword, right? Because like, on one hand, I want to be like, oh, you don't get up there while you win your award to be like, this is fair, like, but just nigga, just get up and say thank you, and I'm out, bro. But I also understand why people are like, oh, if you got this platform, you got to make a statement and this and this and that. So while I do respect that standpoint, that's not the, you don't point out that, bro. Like, I mean, personally, I don't know what's going on between Israel and Palestine, but I'm sure Jay-Z got an opinion. That's the time to say that, bro. Why would you just be like... My wife is sad because she didn't get one out of 30 awards that she already Come on. Of what Kanye did with Taylor Swift. He got up there, bro, and was like, he was like, yeah, you know. uh, (laughs) (laughs) I knew one of us was going to do it, and I was like, I'm not. So, yeah, you know. some of us, some of y'all going to feel like you got robbed. You know, some of y'all shouldn't even be in the category. And some of y'all might actually get robbed. <laughs> Yo, I start telling <laughs> the truth when I'm nervous. Like, bro, don't, don't, fucking, don't be like some of y'all don't even belong in the category. And some of y'all are going to feel like y'all get robbed. Like y'all got robbed. Like just because she didn't win album of the year. Like. I didn't hear her album. I didn't even know she dropped one. Unless it was the fucking house music shit that she dropped. With, um, That's not Lemonade, right? No, that shit, that shit. Lemonade was like years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Beyonce stands going to kill your ass in the comments. You mean the Beehive? You don't even know their name. I know enough to be scared of them. All right. I ain't scared of them niggas. <laughs> Poor Billy's done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can beat all sorts of shit. We cannot beat the beehive. <laughs> Boy, beehive is worse than allegations. <laughs> oh yeah, no, love you guys. Don't don't. don't is this like, 
basically he just raised his hand. Yeah. Like, he was like, what's two plus two? Kanye was like, four. And they, they all of America was like, shut your stupid ass up. You don't get to talk. What's two plus two? Jay-Z said. <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, bro. Yeah, nah, bro. You can't just be like, I know we won 40 of these awards, but we didn't win this specific one. So, fuck the free world. No, nigga. That's not how it works. I mean, um, even if you want to, like, look at it, because Angela Bass has been tripping because she still ain't got it. But, like, she been acting our ass off for what? Shit. At, at least two score in six years. Shit, but since before I was born, I'll say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's going for at least two scores. Been showing right. out, bro. But like, so yeah, if she don't win it, and like we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's the other thing because Angela Bassett didn't win, and America was mad. Beyonce yeah. didn't win. And we're talking about how Jay Z's mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of the most successful rappers in history? Yeah, you didn't get one award with your billionaire wife. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Why don't y'all just fall in formation, try again next year? All right, the don't beehive. use the shit. Kill me. Speaking of Jay Z and doing what Kanye did, did you see that nigga Kanye's Super Bowl commercial? I forgot that was no. I was driving when that happened. So I'm confident we can't legally play it on screen. So I'm not even gonna send you the video. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, it's like it's this nigga recording from his phone. Ooh, this he's a, like, uh, that's a bro. bro. Hey, wait before you even continue. Who uh, I I. I I don't. I won't say I support him. I will say that's a, a gangster ass move that I do support. So he gets on the camera. And he's like, I don't know if I could do a Kanye voice. I'm not even gonna try. I thought about it, but I'm not. Yeah. He pretty no. much says, I talked to my people, and they said the spot for the commercial was eight million dollars. So the budget for the commercial is zero. So I'm recording this on my phone. We got shit on the website. Go buy it. That's pretty much the entire commercial. Is that what the twenty dollar thing was, bro? So he's yeah. just like, um, go to go to Yeezy dot com. It's gonna be down below. It's gonna pop up on the screen. Y e e z y dot com, and we got we got shoes and stuff. Go buy. The reason I'm talking about this is because he looks off his meds. <laughs> he looks off his meds. <laughs> Like, like I've never seen him and been like, oh, he's definitely not taking them. Like, I just, does he need to at this point? I mean, does he? Kanye well, supporters, he's up there, not the same, not equivalency. His supporters are similar to Harry Beyonce fans, where... <laughs> No matter what he does, Beyonce fan. <laughs> no matter what he does, they're going to back him. Yeah. So like he could be off his meds and just turn up on the media. Nigga remember some movies taking cameras from people and throwing them and all kind of shit. And nobody ever is like Kanye's doing too much. It's oh, just Kanye. Bro, I meant to tell you about that a few weeks ago. Did you see the one where uh he was getting followed by an old girl from TMZ? He took that bitch iPhone. <laughs> Took her iPhone, asked her full name hella time. She was like, bro, why don't you just quit and I'll double your salary right now? Nigga, I'd be like, I make 50000 a year. I need that up front. <laughs> I'd have made some shit happen, boy. I walk away right now, delete all these fucking photos. But yeah, bro, like, but it worked. That's so, what I'm saying. Like, you know, he got at least $8 million, probably. If so not the, that day. the shit costs seven, eight million to get the spot. The nigga sold 19 million in 24 hours for the product exactly. off his site. I'm not gonna lie. He off had the $20 meds, sale. Off his meds. <laughs> he had the $20 sale. Checked it out. That shit is all not my cup of tea. 
So I didn't buy a lick of it. My nephew had a pair of Yeezys. And I was like, them was actually kind of cool. But then I looked at him again and I was like, nah. <laughs> I say, I say, I saw the shoes yesterday, and that was in that weird moment of like me being drunk from Friday night, seeing him Saturday afternoon coming back. Oh, then, oh, these are might be cool, and then my senses came back to me, and it just yep. All right, so we were talking about the Super Bowl, so. Have you seen this picture that I just sent you? Hey, man, get off your phones while y'all do this podcast, man. This is... It'll be on screen at some point. I have never, ever in my life thought about it from that angle. I think I feel like we should stop. <laughs> I feel like we should stop thinking about things like this, bro. Like, because that... There was not one person when that song came out that you could have told. That, that would have thought that was the fucking. The you way. couldn't have said it wasn't furry boots. It was furry boots, boots is crazy in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> That's a different meaning now. <laughs> hey man, we hey we're hey we're, we're okay. inclusive, baby. <laughs> But nah, I had never until I saw that picture considered the thought that like the niggas wearing boots with the fur coat. So it's boots with the fur. Okay, so let's stop for a second though. Why are Reba McIntyre trying to get it? Why look at her. Look at her. She looks like fucking Reba. What are you what are you talking about? <laughs> She looks like fucking Cindy Lou Who, nigga. What are you doing? Okay, no, you compared an adult woman to a, a child. Let's not go there. It's, it's she looks like a who, nigga. She looks like a who. Why, because her nose do this? You know who else nose do that? My wife. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit ass nigga, boy. Mmm. Oh, worth about God. zero dams. Okay, so now that we're at All Star Weekend for the NBA as we're recording this, and the NFL is done, you know who else the season is done? Joel and Beats. So, is it time, sports followers, Let's that talk. we admit and have this discussion? Joel and Bead is the NBA Dak Prescott. Uh, just like a tier above the rest of them, but like they promote him to the top tier for no reason. I mean, I'll say Dak Prescott slash Josh Allen, and I'll die on that hill. I just says Josh Allen and Dak Prescott regular season MVP candidates, and they leading the league and. Blah, say blah. Then you get to the playoffs. Now, I was going to say it's a little bit different with Dak and Josh because that's a one and done league, right? But also, Joel Embiid has lost so many series, bro. Bro, so have Josh and Dak. Well, yeah, they, but they don't play like series. Like they play a playoff game. Yeah, you know? but the point is when it's time to show up, them niggas don't. Them it's niggas like, be. No, no, I'm agreeing yeah. with you. It's almost worse for Joel and B because he gets more. <laughs> he has seven seven games, games to make it happen. He has to win four out of seven. You just have to show up four times. <laughs> bro, it don't even have to be four in a row, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, like in NFL, at least, like, you could just really have a bad week and then you just lose because, you know, your mom might have died or some stupid shit. Not a shot at Dak Prescott fans, for the record. Did his mom die? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a big gone. I'm a big gone. Oh, I'm a big gone, bro. Woo, That's why bro. I wanted to clarify. Like, I'm not saying nigga, mom's like, now I'm not taking a shot at him. Uh, <laughs> Yikes! 
but yeah, bro, like you could just have a off week, and in football that means you're it's over. Like, yeah. you could catch your ankle in practice and try to play. Th- like a lot happens, but like seven games over two weeks, nigga. If you can't put four together, bro, you just got to string four W's together. Dominant, bro. I mean. I don't know, bro. I feel like Joel B started going downhill once uh, James Harden went to the team. Like, Nick stopped being so, like, physical, bro. Like, he, he, No, it was before then. Because even then, you got to think when he had – when he had actually playing basketball, Ben Simmons, who was a dog at the time. That's when he had Tobias Harris, who was showing out. So well, he, Think he, about that Philly team. No, I mean, you, I'm sorry. Yes and no. You can't like that was one good run for a team, bro. <laughs> we but we say the same thing about the Clippers with that team. Which one? Lots Blake and DeAndre and CP oh, and they had a few good runs. That run with they for like two years when they had young Blake, Jay Crawford, Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, and the niggas was dunking on the whole fucking league. <laughs> they make it just dunk it on the league and then couldn't win shit. Like, it's the same thing. Like, that Sixers team for, like, two years had a unit. Then they got to the playoffs, and that nigga, Joel Embiid, disappeared. All right, so, but, like, And he now, took Ben Simmons' ability to play with him. Took it. Gone. <laughs> there you go. But, um, actually, here, let me find this and send it to you, and you can watch it at some point. But it's basically a uh, a discussion about how the NBA is actually classified as an entertainment business. And Same with the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, what if like these niggas are dope, bro? But they're just like they, they're yeah. It's it's not. I mean, a lot of players have came out now and said like. Ah. <laughs> my, my thing is, don't have Evan Turner be the first guy to say it. All right, like let me get somebody with some more credibility than Evan Turner. <laughs> you gotta be like Charles Barkley or something. Say you can't be fucking yeah. Evan Turner, bro. Or who is that? Who is that one nigga that was a uh, sauce as fucking two K, but was trash in the league? Uh, Gerald Green, Dante Exum. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember that you fucking know what I'm talking about too. Hey, 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 Exa making a comeback with the Mavs. Bro, isn't that fucking, that two cat, I think the one that Jay-Z produced or whatever? That nigga was cold. Huh? You know, hey, he didn't get no awards for that motherfucker either. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but like, he was, that nigga was sauce in that game. He was your rival for some reason with the Jazz. Like, nobody cares about the fucking Jazz. What the fuck are we doing? Bro. Yeah. Like, I wasn't even sure who that cat was. Him and, Drew, him and Gordon Hay were averaging, like, 30 every time they played you. It was bullshit. Um, but, yeah, nah, bro. Like, they're the same people. Niggas just disappear in clutch time. Like, it's time to win a game. Niggas like, I over KB. I forgot how to play the, the game. And, I mean, because, like, especially, like, with that tier he's trying to be on, like, you need dub every night. Yeah, like, like minimum. Like if you score under twenty, no matter what, that's a failed game for you. Yeah, you're a scoring champion, bro. Like, what are you doing? You're two time, what two time MVP and scoring champion. He was two years ago, three years ago. Almost did a really bad African accent to try to be scoring <laughs> I already fucked up my accent quote of the day. <laughs> 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 At least for this recording. All right. So the last thing I got is a bit of a story. So just stay with me and you can say your piece at the end. All right. So the story goes, there was a man and a woman. They were getting married. Cool. Whatever. So they say, hey, I'm going to have my bachelorette party. You have your bachelor party. You do you. I'm going to do me. We just not going to talk about it. It's going to be what it is. Cool. Right. Bet. I'm so the woman, huh? Does this take place at some sort of brothel? Yes. Is the dad involved? Yes. <laughs> we did this. Did we? 
We did this. Good. Then keep it moving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, All Star Weekend, though, check what I just sent you. We might have to take a little break. Uh, but just peep how wild my man's transition is. For so long after P and those guys left, and Zabonis is a great player, and they had other guys, but mm-hmm. like I think for the more casual basketball fan, it wasn't necessarily appealing. You know, like yeah. post basketball is not appealing unless it's Jokic or Joel or Shaq. You know what I mean? Like you have that, two different voices. I do. People say that all the time. Did you hear? I, I mean, oh, this yeah. is, yeah. I, I didn't know if it was our microphone. I never <laughs> catch it. You know, like I watch podcasts after, and I'm like, dang, my voice changed. I, I don't mid sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys? I didn't do. Oh, yeah. I wrote it, it just, down. Two yeah. different voices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrote it down. It just happened. It just happens that way naturally. Sometimes yeah. you, you don't control it though. No, I don't control. I have no control over it. It just happens for so long. Oh, I hope she can sync that up with it so we can react to it in real time. Oh my! Oh God. my goodness! Oh, back and piece it. Hold on. <laughs> <For so> long, <laughs> cut him off. Say, wait, you're okay. You got two different voices. Say, no, hold on. Now you got you got two. He said, "I've been told that." Yeah. <laughs> Here's what's funny about it, though. He only switched voices when he was talking about white people. If you rewatch it, Ooh, he's like, yeah, you know. And then they have the Joker and Luka Doncic. Like, why are you switching up when you're talking about white people, bro? For a casual basketball fan, it wasn't necessarily appealing. You know, like, yeah. Not this nigga said necessarily and changed his voice. Bro. <laughs> Sorry, oh. white words. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's just, you know, I have a really good time doing this podcast. But the intellectual side of it all is a little <laughs> bit confusing. Some for me, some for the homies. <laughs> oh, my God. That needs a rewatch, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, staying on the topic of things at All-Star Weekend, because I just remember it was something I really wanted to talk about. Did you see that... Uh, Shay Sharp and Mike Epps was going at it. A little bit. Bruh. At the weekend, too? Like, I know there was... They cool now. They cool now. But, so it all started because, you know, Mike Epps would get on his shit and say, just talk a little bit of shit, whatever. Yeah, and he was like, Shannon, you better stop with the big-ass jackets and tight-ass shirts. You better chill out, you know? Like, nigga done, you you done do tried to call me. And then Shannon got on the shit with Ocho and was like, "Oh, you better you better watch what you're saying now, Mike, because you you did me first, like you did me first. So like Mike was like, "I did did me first. You know why? Because you fucking nigga was on his podcast on your podcast talking about me. So I want to say my piece, whatever. Because then Shannon was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be out there for All Star Weekend, like whatever. You know, I was that's your town. So I think Mike kept was like, "Yeah." That's my city. Come to my city, and we gonna we can see you. We gonna see you. He's like, but I'm told to be fighting now, so I just gonna be some some some. I don't know, but it's gonna be something. He was like, and yeah, nigga, I did say you look like Medea without the wig on. He said, have you seen you? He said, sitting up there looking like Big Frida. <laughs> I had to get called Shannon Big Frida. <laughs> I was like, bro, this is so stupid because Shannon don't get it. You can't go back and forth with a comedian, bro, because they don't care. They don't take it seriously. They just yeah. gonna make their jokes and talk their shit. Like that's one of my favorite things about comedy is like you could say some shit that don't really make no sense. Not at all. a lick of sense. And it's just so like the absurdity of it is just that much funnier. Bro. And then if you get offended by it, it's even funnier because now you stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Cause now you upset and I'm laughing. Like it's <laughs> but you you can't call this nigga big Frida though, bruh. Bruh. But it's so accurate bro. with them cardigans and shit he be wearing. <laughs> bruh, this nigga said, bro, he's a little spicy though, bro. Like you club Shay Shay. What kind of grown nigga call himself Shay Shay? <laughs> Shay Shay though. See, I didn't say you was on it. I said you a little spicy. I'm like, bro, Mike Epps is fucking stupid. But I guess they had a good ending. Um they met. They met up and then squash it and whatever. Because they, I think they pretty much both realized, Nick, we both fifty as fuck. We can't be out here scrap, trying to scrap at All Star Weekend and shit, bro. Why like more fifty than Curtis. Like you can't just be <laughs> more fifty than Curtis is a bar. 
<laughs> Mo 50 to Curtis is <laughs> fucking bar. That's crazy. But yeah, bro, you can't be 50 trying to scrap at fucking All Star Weekend. I mean, do you know how much security they got there? <laughs> Nigga, as soon as you do this, a nigga pulling on your bicep. You can't. Shannon, bicep. you the only nigga in the arena built like you. They gonna see you from outside, bro. <laughs> they gonna see you six five, looking fifty, but built like prime Mike Tyson. Nigga, they gonna see you at at the parking lot, bro. You not gonna get close enough. Cause like, have you seen Total Recall? The first one, the mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You remember like when? Come on, son. They, yeah, blood when they they. They were, like, losing oxygen and their eyes was popping out and all of that shit. Mm-hmm. That's what Shannon Sharp's shirt looked like every time, bro. That nigga Shannon Sharp's shirts be in vogue, holding on for dear life at all times. <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to be here. <laughs> and that's been another episode of Four Big News is Stupid. I am your host, Nick, with me, with me as always, my co-host, Easy Cheesy. But I'll let you the next one. <laughs>